Hello everyone, welcome to another reading vlog. So it is Friday morning right now. I'm just getting ready. Actually, me and my sister are gonna be doing a workout via Zoom. This is gonna be the first time that we do it. So it'll be um, interesting to <laughs> say the least. That will be fun. Um, but in the meantime, later today, I have to finish up some of my research stuff as well. Uh, <clears throat> And also I have to do prepare a presentation for an online like video uh, for a conference that my one of my abstracts got accepted for so I'm gonna do some prep work for that and then on the weekend it's gonna be really nice out so today's like 22 and then tomorrow's gonna be like 23 so it's gonna be very beautiful this weekend which I'm really exciting which I'm really excited about so that will be good I'll get a lot of outdoor reading time um, but yeah and then also there's the Taylor Swift concert on Sunday night which I'm super excited about I think I'll probably watch it on Hulu or Disney Plus um, on the next day because then I don't have to watch commercials but I'm excited about that one as well but in the meantime let me go over all of the books that I plan on reading this weekend so currently I'm 150 pages into Saving Sophie, which is the second book in Once We Were Brothers series. I read the first and third book, so I decided I wanted to kind of be caught up and read them in order. So um, I'm almost halfway through this. I like this one. It's not my favorite. It deals more with like modern day um, problems with like the Arab-Israel conflict, which I will say I don't know that much about, but I have been learning about it, which is very interesting, but it's not as... Uh, gripping as the ones that have dealt with like World War II so yeah it's like three stars right now not my favorite of it necessarily and this actually came in the mail a couple days ago um, and I totally forgot about it actually so I want to read this one after this one um, which it'll be a quick read it's just like over 300 pages and I really love this show I think these books are really well done and they do complement the series very well and they provide more background that's not necessarily talked about in these like in the series which I enjoy and then I will pick up the fourth book in the Once We Were Brothers uh, series um, as well this one deals more with Liam who's one of the main characters so I'm excited about that but these are my reading plans for the weekend and before I forget, in my last reading vlog, which actually came out today, I ended up DNFing The Starless Sea around like 160 pages. I just didn't like the plot, I didn't like the characters, and I think it's like either a book that you will love or you will hate, and I think I was the one, one of the people that just did not like it. It wasn't for me. I'm really disappointed because I did really like The Night Circuits, but this one just wasn't for me, which I'm really sad about because the cover is just stunning, but... Oh well, what can you do about that? But in the meantime, I'm gonna go do my workout and probably cry about it. Alrighty, so I'm very happy right now. So my scanner that for school, like my research came in the mail today, this is like $500, um, which I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna play around with that. My iPad is just charging right now, but it like fits on there, which is really cool. I'm gonna try to scan Tucker's head, but I'm really excited about that. And then also I got some stuff from Kohl's because they were having their friends and family sale. Um, so starting out, I first got this bracelet because I needed like six more dollars to get um, to get like free shipping. So I got this bracelet. I got this blouse, which I think is very pretty. Um, this is another like just plain T-shirt, and then I also got this shirt as well, which is like off the cuff, which I'm really excited about. All this, like I got everything, like six. I think there's still some more coming, I'm pretty sure. But like I spent like $80 and I got like six tops and a bracelet. And then I got Kohl's cash, which I'm going to use to get capris for um, like curbside pickup. But I have to wait till the 18th to use that. But um, I'm really happy. I'm going to try these on now. And then I have some stuff to do on the computer. And then I will play around with this later today. So I tried on all the tops and I really like these two. It's just I think I'm going to return this one because when I ordered it I thought it'd be a more cotton material and it's very like stiff. I don't even know what type of material this is but it was very boxy so I'm going to return this. I don't know what the return policy is right now but um, yeah I'm going to return this one I'm pretty sure.
Alrighty guys, so it is quarter after 10 now on Saturday and I've been up for a little bit. I just was actually chatting with my mom for a while, um, but yesterday I didn't get any reading done. Like I had my book out and I was ready to go and then we're like, oh, let's watch the series finale for How to Get Away with Murder. So we watched that and I really liked the ending actually. Like I thought it was very well done. Um, so I really <laughs> liked that and then we did a Zoom meeting with our old neighbors from Chicago that now live in Seattle and that was the apartment that I stayed at during my Chicago vlog from a couple years ago or a couple months ago it feels like a couple years ago um but I will link that in cards if I remember but if you guys saw that vlog it was that their apartment that I was staying at so that was really nice um and then yeah just went to bed it rained all day yesterday like monsoon rained out um but today is going to be like 22 23 so it's going to be really warm sunny um and all that so i'm gonna definitely get some reading done today um but in the meantime we also have a family happy hour at five and then what else oh and tomorrow is tucker's birthday and i'm super excited he's gonna be 10 years old like oh my god i love him so much but i got him one of these things because he really likes these Milo bones. Um, so this one's bacon flavored so I have to wrap this up for him and put it in a little bag because he loves opening presents so that will be good as well. Something to look forward to in this vlog as well but he's so adorable but in the meantime I'm just gonna get dressed um, and get some reading done because it is perfect reading weather out so I'm gonna go and get ready and so I can hop on the reading bandwagon. Alrighty guys, so it is quarter to three now and I actually just filmed a couple of, I filmed one book video and then a couple of guitar tutorials for the new Maddie and Tay album. Um, so that was good. I feel productive. My parents went, they bought a power washer for our deck so they just went to go and get that and it's just me and little Tucker chilling. Um, but in the meantime, I'll give you a little reading update. So I'm on page 270 now. I'm not liking this one as much. I really, like part of it is my own ignorance too on just like the Palestinian Arab conflict, conflict that's kind of going on and still going on now. Um, but it's just like the storyline itself isn't that interesting. And I really just skimmed through a lot of the stuff that talk about the, um, Kind of the conflict itself it is very interesting from a historical standpoint but i don't know like i feel like i don't know i'm not really liking this one right now it's like let's say maybe a three star read if i'm being generous so i just want to finish this actually if i could finish this today that would be really really good so then i can just be out of the way um and then i can pick up the sabrina book which i think will be a lot of fun um, but in the meantime i'm going to continue my reading and then we'll see like i said the goal is to finish this and we have a happy hour zoom meeting at five with the family so i want to get this done before then i think it's doable because i'm mostly just like skim reading now at this point 
just to finish it so then I can like have them all in the series. Um, but yeah, this one's not my favorite of the series, so that's a little unfortunate, but oh well. You win some, you lose some, I guess. whole side except for the, the Christmas tree we um we took some of the branches off around the bottom. Good morning everyone so it is at 9 a.m on Sunday I was so tired yesterday so we did our little family zoom happy hour it's like long weekend in back home in Canada so it was relatively quick we had dinner and I was so tired me and Tucker went to bed at like nine o'clock and we slept like 12 hours so I'm feeling very refreshed. My muscles are still very sore from the workout on Friday. Like, I'm so sore. But I didn't end up finishing saving Sophie. I'm on page 376, so I'm almost there. I have about 40 more pages or so until it's done. But I'm definitely liking the last 100 pages more than, like, the first part of the book. So I've been enjoying it a lot more. Um, so my goal this morning is to finish this. Um, but in the meantime, today is Tucker's birthday. He is 10 years old. He is still sleeping. <laughs> um, but he gets his little present today, which I'm super excited about. He's just, oh, so cute. I just love him. He's like my baby, so I'm very happy it's his birthday. We were actually going to do like a big party, which we obviously um, can't do now. But, oh my gosh, just look at him. Oh, I'm so excited to give him his birthday present. He's so excited. He saw me bring up the little, like, gift bag yesterday, and he's like, oh, is that for me? Like, he got all excited, so he's going to be opening his present very soon. But in the meantime, I'm just going to go brush my teeth, have some tea, and all that stuff. So, yeah. Tucker, good morning. Tucker, is it today your birthday? <gasps> Today your birthday? Good morning! Oh, good morning! Oh, good morning! Oh, here, look! What is this? What's in here? What is it? What is it? Come on! What's in here? What is it? What is it? Get it! Get it, Tucker! Get it! What's in there? Get it! Hey! What's that? <laughs> So it is quarter after 11 and I finished saving Sophie. I did enjoy the last like 150 pages more um, than the other book, but or like the, the other part of the book. Um, but this isn't my favorite of the series. I've really enjoyed the ones that deal with kind of more historical things. This one focuses more on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, which I did think was an interesting topic and I felt like it tackled it in a very respectful manner and provides you with a lot of information, which I think was really well done. Um, but it just like wasn't as interesting. I felt like I wasn't as attached to this kind of mystery storyline as I was with the ones that kind of focus more on um, 
kind of like historical ones. Um, so this one I would give a 3 out of 5 stars. It definitely wasn't my favorite of the series. Um, my friend texted me, so I think we're going to try to do our book chat for the selection today, maybe. We'll see. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to pick up Path of Night, which is the third book in the Sabrina um, book series. Um, so I'm going to do that. I think I... Let's see. Let me challenge myself and see if I can finish it today. It's under 300, just over 300 pages, and it's not like full page text. So let's see. Can I challenge myself? We shall see. But in the meantime, I'm just going to quickly get dressed and I'll do some reading outside because it's supposed to rain today, but it's very beautiful. It's sunny out right now. So I'm just going to enjoy it while it lasts. guys so it is the next day now and I'm just gonna do a little summary of my reading this past weekend I was very pleased with my reading I think I did a really good job I feel like the last few reading vlogs have been kind of not very good in terms of the quantity of reading that I've done but I really really did a good job this weekend which I'm very pleased about um, so I ended up finishing Saving Sophie um, by Ronald H. Bolson this is the second book in the Once We Were Brothers series and I really enjoyed the first and third one this one wasn't my favorite of the series I felt like it did a really good job at um, articulating the Palestinian Israel conflict which I due to my own ignorance, I don't really know that much about, um, but I felt it handled it in a very respectful and educational way. Um, I just didn't think the plot was that interesting. I did enjoy maybe the last 150 pages because that's where it really picks up, but this one wasn't my favorite. I think the historical ones are a little bit better than the kind of modern day mysteries that they're dealing with, so I gave this one a 3 out of 5 stars. I enjoyed the ending, but it, this wasn't my favorite of the series, so that was a little bit sad, and then I ended up finishing reading this in one day, Path of Night, um, by Sarah Rees Brennan, 
And this is the third book in the companion series to The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, a Netflix show. Um, so this one kind of deals in between seasons two and seasons three, kind of right in between. So I can't talk too much about the plot, but I really enjoyed this one. The second one dealt more with Harvey, who is not my favorite character, um, but I definitely, this one, um, focus more on Nick and his background which I enjoyed a lot. I really loved it and made me really want to um, like watch the TV show again um, because it got me really excited about it. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this. I think they, this author does a really good job of complementing the series while also adding more background to the characters and things that aren't necessarily discussed in the show. So if you're a fan of the show, I highly recommend these. I've really enjoyed these and they're quite an easy read. So overall, it was a very good reading weekend. The next one will be for the long weekend, which I'm very much looking forward to. I think the weather is supposed to be nice. It's raining right now. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.